What's up guys, welcome to your 11th PHP tutorial. And the last time I talked to you guys about an array, as you can see right here. And this time I'm going to talk to you guys about something a little different. And it's called an associative array. And instead of the last time where you just use numbers, as you can see before, you just use 0, 1, 2 to link it to a string of text. I'm going to show you guys how to use text to link it to a string of text using a technique called an associative array. And what this is is, is associate a word with another word. So let's just type in a variable and I'll call this variable actions. And of course we have to set it equal to array to let it know we're doing an array. And inside your parentheses you need to type a word that you want to link to another word and here's how you do that um let me think uh let's use fingers and i want to link it to hand so here's what i do i type in the equal sign and the greater than sign and then i type in the word hand and what this does is instead of having a number if you just type this in then the hand would have the label zero Instead, it gives it the value fingers. And you'll see what this means in a second. Let me just type in some more. Um, might as well use toes. And we will link it to foot. And uh, we'll just do one more for fun. Let's just do teeth. And we'll link it to mouth so now we have three associative arrays fingers linked to hands toes tell it we're talking about the foot and teeth says we're talking about the mouth now when we go to the next line we can echo these using a similar fashion as before so say we wanted to echo or output on the screen the word hand. All we would have to do is type echo and type the variable actions and then inside of your parameters instead of typing 0 or 1 or 2 like we did before you type in the word at the beginning such as fingers. And what this does got to put that in quotation marks since it's a string. And what this does, it says, all right, we have the variable actions, and inside we have the parameter fingers, and then you, we want it to link it to hand. So let's save this and take a look at what it looks like. As you can see, it outputted hand on the screen. And this is a different way of labeling your arrays instead of just 0, 1, 2 when you actually want to use a word to remember it instead of just a number it makes it a lot more simple in just a different way and this again is called an associative array and it associates a string of text with another string of text using the equals and greater than sign that looks like an arrow so you can remember it easier Thanks. Bye.